Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your monthly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you Lord God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from me. Alright, so Scorpio, let's see what the energy is this month. What's the energy for Scorpio this month? What's the energy for... Okay, first card out. The Fool card. Very nice. Starting anew. Going in a new direction. Um, new development. New business. New relationship. Just new beginnings all together. Um, taking the leap of faith. Um, moving on. Closing out a cycle, a chapter in your life. Uh, writing a new one. Um, inspiration from spirit to move, to do something new, uh, to develop something new within yourself. Um, being inspired to have newness, maybe even a physical move here. All right. Uh, to seek happiness. Okay. The journey is what you make it. You can write anything here. This is the beginning of it. Very nice energy. What should um, <clears throat> Scorpio release this month? Or what, yeah, what are some things Scorpio should release this month? This is crazy. The world, you go from the fool to the world, the alpha and omega, beginning to the end. Scorpio, you need to release this old journey, this old chapter that you had, al you've already been through it. You're out of that cycle. Move forward, move out of it. Um, the energy of this month is newness, is the zero card. Nothing. You get to create the life that you want. Come out of this old cycle of uh, of what was created for you, for some of you. And now you get to create what you want. Okay? Um, there's nothing else to do in that cycle. There's nothing to transform. There's no newness. There's nothing you can bring into it. It's over. It's done. It's been completed. Um, move on. And that's your energy, the fixed energy of the world card. Um, there's something that you... Let's see what you need to uh, reevaluate. What does Scorpio need to reevaluate this month? What does Scorpio need to reevaluate? Wow. The magician. 0, 1, 21. Wow. You need to reevaluate how you're thinking and what you're thinking about. Especially my men, because this magician card says powerful man. You need to uh, reevaluate how you're using your words, um, what you're saying. Are you using your words wisely? Are you manifesting the life that you want? Are you using all the tools available to you? Are you being resourceful? Or are you making an uh, excuse for it? Um, you also need to reevaluate um, what it is you're trying to bring into fruition. Does it serve the greater good or does it just serve you? Reevaluate the magic that you're doing in your life. Um, reevaluate what you're doing it for, your motivation, your motives. Okay? Um, reevaluate uh, this cycle that you've been in. Um, understand the lesson here uh, associated with it. Reevaluate your ego, okay, and where are you trying to manifest from, from ego or from one or two of the um, real emotions, which is love or fear. Hopefully it's love. Um, it is not raining outside. It is raining. Okay. Um, yeah. Is that what you, yeah, so that's what you need to reevaluate okay um something that you've neglected scorpio what has ne scorpio neglected what has scorpio neglect neglected what has scorpio neglected what has scorpio neglected all right the higher you got all major arcana this is crazy so spirit is really working with you on something in something um check which planets are retrograde check your placements um 
something you neglected, the hierarchy, um, knowledge, wisdom, corporate learning, higher learning, direction, correction here, um, routine, regimen, structure. You have neglected that. Um, maybe you're a rebel. Scorpio, some Scorpios can be. Um, they rebel against. Um, you have neglected your marriage. You have neglected traditional value, moral, moral code, ethics. Um, yeah, you have neglected correction in those things, right? Interesting. Um, something to look forward to. You've neglected your work. If you have a, if you work at a corporation, if you're a teacher or, or a lecturer or something of that, you neglected that. If you, if people follow you by way of what you, you say, you teach, you, you've kind of neglected your work, okay, or neglected being the guide, the leader. Um, something to look forward to in the month of August for my Scorpios. What does Scorpio have to have to look forward to? What does Scorpio have to look forward to? Okay. Um, the Nine of Wands. So, um, what you have to look forward to is actually you looking back. Um, you being too focused on the past. Okay. Um, definitely not aware of the present. And you damn sure can't see the future. Because, um... You're too focused on the past here. Um, what you have to look forward to is getting out of the fight, getting out of the battle, but still looking back at the battle. I think you are confusing spirit now with, I want newness and I want this to be over with, okay, I'm still looking back at the old, but I want newness. You may even be confusing yourself. Um, the Nine of Wands talks about lack of commitment. So uh, question your own commitment to you starting a new life, to you starting over, to new beginnings. Are you really committed to a new beginning? Because with the Nine of Wands with coming out in, in terms of what you should look forward to, um, that's something you're going to need to question. Are you um, up for the new beginning? Also, uh, with the Nine of Wands, what does the Nine of Wands say? Um, not sure if you should give something another try. I'm out of the battle, and I'm estranged from this person, but I'm not sure if I should go back. So you look forward to some, you being confused within yourself. You also need to sit with self, meditate. Um, and let the answers come to you, okay? <clears throat> and right in between conscious and subconscious, you need to, right in between sleep and not sleep, looks like some answers could come to you, all right? Um, definitely try to get into that meditative state where you can read some um, higher plane and you can actually... Uh, commune with the, with the divine and get those answers you need because something is confusing you or you're still looking back at the past um, something that will help you what will help my Scorpios this month what will help Scorpio this month what will help Scorpio this month what will help Scorpio okay the emperor very nice just good you got only want you looking back at the past. Every all the other cards are spirit, major arcana. Um, what will help you this month? Some powerful man. Um, he rules the kings. The kings are typically men or masculine energy. They govern the fours, the four of pentacles, four of wands, four of swords, four of cups. Um, so some man who who has a solid foundation, who is on a solid foundation, um, this could be you. It could be helping yourself uh, in terms of the emperor. He talks about um, building. Okay, so 
he's proud of what he's built because he built it from nothing. It's typically a desert in the back of that card. Uh, the Rider Waite traditional uh, card. This guy has pulled himself up by the bootstraps, okay? So what will help you is to really um, go over where you come from and what you've built for yourself. Um, also, home. Home is coming up or, or the heart. Um, home is where the heart is or the heart is where the home is. Your heart. Your, and, and, and the heart are the desires. So it's like you, you've got to kind of focus on shifting your desires of your heart or your home space, okay? Um, something that will help you is having a paradigm shift in some foundational um, way of thinking, maybe even going through some deep-seated issues and talking it over with a professional who can help you work through it. It could even be childhood issues. It could be issues of feeling like a possession or possessive or manic at times. Um, you also, what will help you is um, you have come into some newfound wealth. And um, you're just trying to maintain it. You don't want to lose it. Uh, so you're cautious. Maybe it could even be being stingy at this time or a miser, penny pinching. Um, four of Cups, what will help you, since he goes to four, what will help you is, um, I don't know, looking over your emotions. Maybe you regret something. There is remorse. There is maybe you feeling like you missed out on a blessing, an opportunity, uh, a miracle before you. Um, something that will help you is um, maybe this is how this man that will help you. This is how he feels about you and he wants to come back. This could be your marital partner if you are married or someone you had a long-standing relationship with, Scorpio. Um, what will help you is your own foundation. Where did you come from? Really delving deep into that and seeing what your roots are because the fours talk about roots too. So what are you rooted to or grounded to? If it's nothing, then, you know, um, you can answer those questions. But uh, also, yeah, what will help you is really delving deep into your foundation roots, family, mother, or motherly energy. If you didn't have a mother or a good mother or you need to go speak with your mother or some deep-seated issues. Um, that you might need to resolve here that will help you move forward because you might be at a standstill in terms of a family. You might even need to call a family truce here. Um, you could not be talking to someone, maybe even a brother, older brother figure. I don't know. You need to call a truce in your family. Let bygones be bygones. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there. If it uh resonates do like share comment subscribe you can also text a question or two to the number below you could donate to the channel you could get in on the new moon manifestation ritual happening on the lion's gate 8 8 august 8th um the link is below if you want to manifest new energy new love newness in your life get in on that all right all links are below thank you scorpio many blessings to you